Hello there, this is Rahul and in today's session, we are going to fix the issue with the personal access token associated with your private GitHub account. So as you can see over here, this is my personal GitHub repo, which I'm trying to clone using my username. That is my GitHub username. And here I'm trying to supply the password. So as soon as I supply my username and password, the GitHub is prompting that you should use personal access token instead. To give you a little brief, uh, from August 13, 2021, GitHub has announced that it is going to stop the support for the password. Instead, you need to generate the personal access token for your private GitHub repository. And this process or this troubleshooting steps is only valid for a private GitHub repository. And if you are trying to use the URL, that is that starts with HTTPS. If you look onto my GitHub account, then there I have two ways to clone my GitHub repo. So today we are going to clone with the HTTPS and using the personal access token. But instead, if you are using the SSH method, then personal access token is not necessary for it. You need to generate the private key and the public key for cloning the GitHub repo. So I have prepared a separate session for that. And I'll put the link of that video into the description section so that you can follow that uh, particular video for cloning the GitHub repo using the SSH. Now back to the problem, how to generate the personal access token. So for that, what you need to do, you need to go back to your GitHub account. So this is my GitHub account. Go to your accounts, go to settings. And if you scroll down further, then you will find the options like a developer settings on the left bottom corner. So click on developer settings. And here you will find an option to generate the personal access token. So click on it. And here you can generate the token. So click on generate new token. And here you can put a note uh, like uh, my private repo. And here, uh, once you uh, put the name inside the note section, then you need to define the scope, like what kind of a privileges you want to associate with your GitHub access token. And one important thing, uh, you can set the expiration date for your personal access token over here. So I'm just going to keep it to the seven days. And if you want to keep or increase the uh, expiration that date, then you can just choose whatever option which feels suitable to you. So I'm just going to keep it with the seven days. And here you can select the uh, scopes. The scopes are uh, like uh, permissions, like uh, do you want to assign the read permission? Do you want to assign the write permission? Or do you want to assign the admin privileges to that personal access token? So for the temporary, I'm just going to select everything and just keep on selecting all the options. Uh, this is just a demo purpose. I'm just going to delete this token. But it, it's just an idea like oh, you can uh, you can control the granular access uh, for your personal access token onto your GitHub repository. And once you select everything, you just gonna click on generate token. And here you can see, uh, this is the token which I have generated for my private GitHub repository. Now, after generating the token, you can copy this token from here, go back to your terminal, and I'm just gonna press enter. And I'm just going to reissue the command, uh, git clone command. And again, I'm using the HTTPS URL, hit enter. And here I'm just going to enter the username. And I'm just going to paste my uh, access token over here. And after that, hit enter. And here you can see uh, it started to clone my private GitHub repo. And you can verify the content by running the command ls and go into the jhook directory. And here, these are the contents of my private GitHub repo. So this is how you are going to clone the GitHub repo using the personal access token. I hope you liked the today's short session on how to fix the personal access token with your GitHub account. And if you are interested into the similar content on DevOps like Kubernetes, uh, Helm chart, Terraform or Docker, then do follow my channel where I keep on posting the similar content on a weekly basis. So see you into the next session of our DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.